driver here in Phoenix metropolitan area. Today's Thursday at 9 a.m. Well, almost 9 a.m. Thursday at 9 a.m. in Phoenix metropolitan area. How is everybody doing out there? Had a good day today. Um, pretty good uh, all the way around here at the car wash. Just got done vacuuming. Uh, today I want to talk about self-employed versus employed self-employed versus employed that's what I want to talk about uh, since they're they're having um, the bill or the, whatever you want to call it that's going on in in California as far as drivers uh, Uber and Lyft drivers um, they're passing a bill or they passed it I don't know how that's gonna pertain as far as um, them doing or uh, them being employed through Uber or Lyft. It's it's strange because I don't know how that's going to pertain. I mean, you're on both apps, but yet if you're employed, they're going to want you to be on one specific app for at least eight hours or more if they do a full time uh, position, which I know they're going to do a full time. Um, but if you're part time, like I am. I drive, I drive five hours, five and a half hours a day. That's it. Sometimes I'll push it to six, but for the most part, it's between four and a half to five hours a day. That's it. I like my time. I like my freedom. I, you know, I, I just, I like it. I, 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 one of the reasons why I went with Uber and Lyft is to have no boss, to have no schedule. Now, no, I don't have insurance, but I do have a wife that has insurance. So, um, I, I just, I like being independent. I love it. I mean, it, it's great being your own boss, doing what you got to do on your own. I don't need anybody to tell me what to do or how long I need to work or or how many trips I need or, or whatever the case is. It's just not going to work for me. So, self-employed, I love it. I love being self-employed. I love the freedom. I love the tax write-offs. I love everything about it. I mean, yeah, the money's not really all that great and, and there, but, you know, as drivers, we still make a pretty good living. I mean, if you if you organize and you, you set your, your, you know, if you set it up correctly, you're organized and, and, you know, you can make good money. If you know what you're doing, you can make great money being a driver working five hours, six hours a day. You know, some people work three, four hours a day and you still can make great money doing that. You just got to know, you got to know your city for one. You got to know the best time to drive. Um, you just, you know, you just got to know certain things. Um, but being employed, that's not going to work for me. Being employed is not going to work for me. I, I, that's one of the reasons why I left, um, uh, employment or or having a job or a boss is to have the freedom to have the freedom uh, to make more money and work less hours that that is my goal work make more make more money work less hours I think everybody would like to do that right make more make more money work less hours or work less hours make more money so that's what I like to do I don't want to work 40 hours a week or 40 plus or 50. I've been there. I've done that. I don't want to do that again. So, uh, self-employed, I love it. I love being self-employed. Um, I think a lot of people love being self-employed. Um, but there is, I mean, you, you got to know what you're doing. It, you could be, you know, you could be your own boss, but not know what you're doing and you know that's it you're not you're gonna fail um so with that being said i mean you, you don't you want to be independent you know you want to have your own time your own set your own hours take lunch when you want go home when you want do basically what you want um being employed you can't do that you can't just go you have to even ask to go to the bathroom and that's pretty sad when you have to ask to go to the bathroom now some companies they don't you know you can just go to the bathroom but for the most part you got to ask for everything can i leave home early i have an appointment 
um, I can't work today, I'm sick, whatever. You got to make all these excuses just to be out of work. Or just if they are really excuses, you got to always let them know up front. Oh, this is going on. I got to leave early. I got an appointment. I got this. I got that. You know, I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to, oh, you got to get so many trips. You got to do this. You got to do that. You know, they say yourself goes or whatever the case is. Uh, that's not for me. It really isn't. So being employed is not for me. Now, it may be for other drivers. It may be. I mean, you know, there's some drivers that just don't get it and they need a boss. They need somebody to tell them what to do or when to work or how long to work or how many trips or whatever the case is. But me, I'm a self-motivated person. I don't need anybody telling me to get up to go to work. You, you got a schedule to, to, to keep. You, you got to do, you know, work these, these many hours. No, I'm not going to do that. So good luck, California. If they're doing that, if Uber and Lyft is doing that, Good luck. I don't know how that's going to pertain still because I run both apps at the same time. There's a lot of drivers that do that. So how are they going to run both apps at the same time if they're employed? They have to be on one app for so many hours. Now, you can't turn, cut the other one off if you're employed unless they make it to where you are on that. Well, you know, it's still not going to work out. You got to turn the app on. I mean, they're not going to turn it on for you. So you got to turn it on to start working. Uh, they do keep track of your time. So I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll keep track of that. But as far as working both apps, you're either going to be employed through Uber or you're going to be employed through Lyft. One or the other. Um, you may, you, you probably could take turns as far as days go, but I still don't know how you're going to make 40 hours in, in, in both apps. I just don't see it. Now, yeah, you probably can make 40 hours with both apps running, but not with one. There's no way. There is no way that is going to work unless they come together and come to some kind of agreement with Uber and Lyft together as far as, you know, uh, they're both employing the same person, so they got to... Yeah, I still don't see how that's going to work. I really don't. I would like to see how that's going to uh, come out, uh, but I really don't see how that would pertain to to working uh, a full-time job or even a part-time job at that uh, and working both platforms. It's just it's just not going not gonna to work out. But as being a self-employed driver we're running both platforms, it works out. It works out beautiful. I like it. It works for me. So, wanted to talk about that today uh, as far as uh, em employed and self-employment or self-employed versus employment. Um, self-employment is way better. Way better. You have the freedom. The only thing is that you got to know how to be your own boss. You got to. You know, you just can't be uh, self-employed. I'm going to do this and do that. No, you, you know, you got to run your business proper. You got to run it legitimately. You got to run it professionally. You got to run it accurate, accurately, you know, and, and, and all that will come, but you got to learn how to run a business. Now, I don't need anybody telling me what to do at all. I know how to do this ins and outs. I mean, it's, it's all common sense. I mean, it's not that hard to be an Uber or a Lyft driver. So, with that being said, self-employed versus employment or employed drivers. Um, I'm not. I'm not on the employed side. I'm on the self-employment side. I, I like my freedom. Um, I just like it all the way around. I'm done for the day. As a matter of fact, it is 9.06 and I'm done. I'm going home. I'm not about to go start a, a eight hour shift or, or a 10 hour shift or even a part time six hour, five and a half, six hour trip. No, I'm done for the day. I'm done. I'm going home and I'm enjoying the rest of my day. I'm enjoying the rest of my day. That's right, people. You know, you guys harped about, you know, wanting more pay and wanting, you know, benefits and insurance and this and that. Uber is not paying enough. Lyft, these ride shares are not paying enough. Well, all that harping got you what? It got you 
you're going to be employed. You want to be employed? Do you want to be employed through Uber and Lyft? Or do you want to be self-employed through Uber and Lyft? I picked the self-employed. Anybody uh, wants to be employed? Hit the like button down. Hit the down button. No, we're not employed here. We're self-employed. We are self-employed. Hit the like buttons. Hit the like buttons. Thumbs up. Self-employed. I don't I'm not doing employed. I'm not doing employed. No way. You can keep me out of that. And you know what would be cool if, if they have the option to be employed drivers or self-employed. Because I am being self-employed. I love being self-employed. This is my thing. I work five hours a day and I'm done. I'm done. I can go home and enjoy the rest of my day. Although I do do more work, but it's not Uber or Lyft. Um, so, wanted to bring that up. Self-employed versus employed. You ain't going to catch me being employed. I don't need a boss anymore. If you guys like this video, give it some thumbs up. Uh, you know what else to do. I'm not going to tell you. But, oh yeah, you know what's coming next. That's right. You know what's coming next. Peace out. <laughs>